guys, I've been getting a few questions here recently about O-ring grease, and um, mm -hmm. I thought it would be a good time to start this this edition of our Quick Tips episodes and uh, just talk to you guys a little bit about O-ring grease and how to use it properly on your underwater camera housing. Now, there are many types available on the market, and I would just suggest using whichever one comes with your camera housing. Um, alternatively, you can go out and you can purchase this on your own from uh, one of the many, many web outlets on the internet today. So, a uh, tube like this size, um, this is uh, O-ring grease, silicone, or silicone grease uh, from Inon. It's uh, 17, 175 ounces, and a tube like this would last me for about a year or more. So, it's you really want to use this stuff sparingly. And I think the most, most of the questions and comments were around uh, the different types of O-rings. So, I just wanted to quickly uh, go through these with you guys today and show you the, the, the basically the two different types of O-rings that we have. So firstly, um, we have what I refer to as a static O-ring, and um, that's the O-ring that doesn't move inside your camera housing. So for me, on my uh, CNC housing here, you can see that on the back plate of the housing, there's no O-ring at all. The O-ring actually sets flush inside the back of the housing, so you can see it here in blue. And this is what I would refer to as a static O-ring. So this O-ring goes all the way around the outside and it doesn't move. So an O-ring like this, I wouldn't, uh, I, I don't lubricate this O-ring unless I'm going to store my ha my camera housing for a prolonged period of time, in which case I will remove this house this O-ring from the housing. I go ahead and lube it up with my O-ring grease and then put that in a Ziploc bag, put the Ziploc bag back in the housing and then close the housing. But again, it's a static O-ring, so I would, I rarely if ever add any grease to the back of a static O-ring. Inevitably, what will happen is if you start to add an excessive amount of grease to a static O-ring, all you're going to do is pick up sand and particulate in the water. It's going to stick to that O-ring. It's going to be something you're going to have to clean between dives, otherwise risk flooding your housing. So old school way of thinking, grease everything. Don't grease static O-rings. It's not necessary. Now, we do have other types of O-rings, and I'll just pull this um, dome port off here, my CNC enclosure. And you can see that to, to get it off, I actually have to twist it to bring it apart. Now this type of O-ring um, actually is one that I will lubricate often. Anytime I take my, um, my dome port off my housing, uh, I'm going to lubricate this O-ring because this O-ring actually needs to slide around the inside of this uh, metal housing. So as you can see here, the O-ring is set flush against the, uh, the, uh, uh, the port here. I'm just gonna pull it out if I can. Um, a nice little trick for this sometimes if you can't get them out is if you have something nice like a guitar pick. It's a good way to pull these O-rings out. But this is the uh, this is the O-ring for my port. Now, um, the reason I want to lubricate this O-ring is because when I put my port enclosure back together, this twists inside. So it twists, actually twists on the O-ring. And if it's not lubricated, it could pinch it, maybe even roll it. So um, I will go ahead and lubricate that O-ring. Now. The other question I get is how much lubricant do you use? Uh, how much silicone do you use on an O-ring? And it's just the tiniest amount. It's very minimal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add just about yay much. It's just a pinch. And if you can see that there, there's not a lot going on. It's just a tiny, tiny bit. And that might be even a little bit too much. So once that's in, I'm just going to rub the O-ring between my fingers all the way around in a circle, all the while feeling for any scratches, inclusions in the O-ring feeling for anything, deformations. And if I feel anything at all, the O-ring is gonna go. I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage, um, unless it's something that's stuck to the outside of it, in which case I'll remove it. So that's it, run it through the O-ring, and then it goes back on the camera housing, and that's it. So very simple. Um, again, static O-rings, I don't lubricate them unless they're gonna be stored for a while. Um, the O-rings that actually have moving metal surfaces around them, I always lubricate every time I remove them from the housing. So guys, I hope you find this video helpful. Um, if you do, please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Kamen Jason. This is the way I see it.